All right, solar is finally done. No more factory go power crap. We have our Victron system with our Battleborn batteries pretty much done. We'll go over it and I'll show you what I did. And it is so much harder doing a small RV. <laughs> Everything was so tight, but it is in and it is working awesome. We'll start inside and I'll show you what I've done. turn this off well we're not a hundred percent done i still have to put the fridge back i got the solar wires ran i have actual solar wires now with mc4 connectors and we have mc4 connectors up here i got one more mc4 connector to put on and then plug these in i gotta disconnect this old go power crap and then we got to figure out what we're going to cover the hole with because I don't want to just leave it in here. So I'm probably going to pull it out. But here in a little while, Candace is going to help me put the fridge back and I'm going to get it cleaned up. I just got a bunch of, bunch of junk, just wiring crap and yeah. I did have to order the cable for the, for the smart battery monitor. I ordered one, but it was the wrong one. I left the old one in our class C because it was just, it was too hard to get out. I tried, so it was going to break the phone cord end off. It's pretty much the same exact size as a phone cord, except it's an RJ12, which means there's six wires instead of four. So I just ordered it. I ordered an actual Victron, so I know it'll work right but it should be here in a day or two. Everything works, I just don't have the monitor in here. So the inverter is under here. The air's been going, so the fan's on. Plus it's charging the batteries at like 100 amps right now, or something like that, I don't know. So yeah, it will definitely not get as hot in the RV as it used to get out in the bay. We used to have it just out in one of the bays and those bay, if those bays are in the sun it gets hot and sometimes while we're driving we can't help it so then when we got where we was going the inverter would already be hot that only happened in like summertime when it was really hot and it ha happened every time we went to florida i guess because the it's hot and the high humidity it hasn't happened a lot out here that it's got warm but i put fans in the bays to keep it cool and that that helped quite a bit so i think the monitor will go down here somewhere because i can see it from the bed at night and yeah that's pretty much it in here figuring out what i'm going to do with the hole and i'll take you outside and show you guys where everything is i still have like a couple little things to do i am still going to add one more battery but i already have all the wiring and stuff that from the old rv so it won't take me long to throw that in real quick it is another beautiful hot day in kingman i think 100 today 102 i don't know the heat wave's about gone though we've got just a few more days and then we'll be back down to the 80s we don't mind it. We've got to use that pool a lot. So, yeah, I don't mind a long, hot summer. That's what AC is for. But we will do a lot more camping once it cools down. We're ready to go any day now. We're just waiting. Jovi has an appointment in, a, in, I don't know, a day or two. And then after that, we're going to do some camping. Okay, I still got to put the cover on because I haven't wired this yet this is pretty much like the only thing left is this is for so i can put some panels like on the ground outside 
because we have like seven panels from our class c that isn't going to fit on our roof there's just no way and there's already a 190 watt panel up there so i'll probably end up putting one more panel on the roof and then i'll keep i don't know three or four to just lay out on the ground when we're camping all i have left is to run some wire from here just around and into the box everything's already it's ready to go and we need more power so so i just run the ground and then the hop through here and that's it it's ready so we have a one solar charger goes to the panel on the roof which will eventually be two and this is this can handle that easily and then i have one more panel that can hand or one more i have one more uh solar charger that can handle four panels four up to like five i think of, of our size 170s it can handle about five of those out on the ground so probably only carry three maybe four it's really all we need and then up here in the battery bay there's our batteries Got the smart dongle connected to the battery you stick it to the battery because it's also temperature control but this is what connects to our inverter and makes it smart this is what lets me control the inverter and know what's going on and then the shunt is what goes to the battery monitor all your negatives go into your outside of the shunt and then it no basically it reads everything coming in and out so it gives you everything correct on your numbers so yeah that's pretty much it uh, and the big huge fuse 300 i think 300 amp they are locked in down here oh i still gotta tighten that one these are gonna get caulked from the inside i have clear caulk so i'm gonna caulk them all up just so i don't know just so stuff don't get through there's vents anyway so it's not a huge deal it's just more air to flow i guess we never really had a problem with the batteries getting hot it's mainly just the inverter is what really gets warm on pretty much any system so i still got to connect this strap too i forgot you should always strap your batteries down you don't want them to be able to jump i have them mounted where they can't slide around but you should still always have a strap so they can't move up and down also because you never know on these highways and stuff what you're going to run into this is just a lynx power in pretty much everything comes in and out of this that way it distributes everything evenly all of my wires to my batteries are the exact same size which was super tricky i had to run one like all the way in the front because it just wasn't long enough and it's just the safest way you ensure that all your batteries are being charged and discharged at the same rate so yeah that's pretty much it i am adding one more battery up here there's plenty of room i have the cables everything we still have three batteries and then i have a plan for the remaining two that will come later on pretty much it everything is working great you see this is why i love the victron system this tells me every single thing that's going on and i can also regulate i can go here and i can regulate how many amps can come in to the rv so yeah i just love it i can turn it on charger only i can turn it on invert only if i don't want to bring in any power once i get the wire from the shunt to the bmv then it tells me everything coming in and out of the batteries all right guys the solar is done candace helped me put the uh fridge back I'm trying to mute the tv but it's not working yeah now we're gonna eat some lunch because i'm starving it's like 100 degrees today <laughs> look at joby's new little what's it called a bouncer thing i don't know Exercise. her grandma <laughs> sent it to her oh my goodness she loves it too she likes to stand up she actually stood up her first time already yep a couple days all ago. on her own <laughs> didn't you 
You said you big girl already, huh? I know. Her hair's messed up. She just woke up from a nap. It's getting so long, it messes up now, huh? <laughs> huh? Mama's gonna have to start brushing it. Huh? You just love the camera, don't <laughs> yeah, you? Yeah, she looks right at it, doesn't she? Because she can... Oh, no, it can't see herself no more. There you go. Look at that. Can you see yourself now? Look at Jovi. <gasps> what? Pretty baby. Oh, my goodness. She said, where are you going? <laughs> I got to I got to finish the video so we can eat lunch, okay? Come on, let's go. Yeah, Jovi's going to sit up in her seat and eat some lunch. Oh. What are we having chicken salad? Yeah. Yum. Oh. Yum. So yeah, in the next few days it's going to start cooling down. We're going to be out of the hundreds again. <laughs> this time I think for for the rest of the summer, I think we'll start getting some fall weather. So yeah, and so yeah, next video hopefully we'll be camping. I'm so camping? ready. RV's ready. Truck's ready. Are you guys ready? <laughs> we'll see you again very soon. We love you guys. We appreciate each and every one of you. Thanks for watching. Say bye, Jovi. Say bye. Say bye, -bye. <laughs> one of these days. Yep. <laughs> All right, let's eat. <laughs> Jovi, you stood up by yourself. Oh my gosh, you big girl. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Good job, baby. <laughs> Say da da. Da da. Are you just the cutest little bubble bear?